So we're going to have another chance to listen to God again now. And we're going to use that template of prayer that Jesus taught us, that Rich was talking about, the Lord's Prayer. We're going to say it together, probably much more slowly than you may have done before in the past. And so that is so we can really listen to what God is saying to us through these words. You may find when we read it together in a minute that one particular line or one particular word or phrase really kind of stands out to you. This is really often a way that God brings our attention to something in his word. So, Catherine, if we could have the Lord's Prayer on the screen, please, that would be wonderful. And we're just going to say it together really quite slowly and with some pauses as we're listening to God, what he might be saying to us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Hopefully that wasn't too strange for you. And maybe you would have found that one word or phrase just really kind of resonated with you today as you were saying or thinking it. And we're going to use that word or phrase as a starting point for a creative conversation with God. So I hope you've got some Lego. I've got my little pot of Lego here. Or maybe some pens and paper to draw or write. Um, maybe some Play-Doh. I've been playing with mine all morning, actually. It's quite good. <laughs> and if not, quickly grab some. So sometimes when we're praying, it helps us to be creating something with our hands. And many of us find that God speaks really powerfully to us through the things that we draw or make or write as we focus on him. It's best not to think too deeply about the colours or shapes that you're using. Just let your hands doodle or make as you chat with him about that line that stood out to you. And if you didn't have one that really stood out, just choose one that appeals to you. You might find yourself asking God, why did you highlight that line for me today, God? Or what do you mean by kingdom, God? Or uh, what does it mean for me to do your will at this point in my life? Sometimes what God says to us is beyond words and a picture or a sculpture that we create speaks louder and more profoundly. And the artistic quality of what you create is not important at all. Um, God has spoken to me profoundly through my drawings of stick people or just a pattern of colours. There's just something really powerful in creating. So shall we give it a go? We're going to be playing a quiet song in the background, which has the words of the Lord's Prayer. While you and I have a go at chatting and catching with God using our creative hands. So Catherine, if we could have that video on now, that'd be great. Thank you. Sing together, Father in heaven. Father in heaven, holy is 
Yeah. 